Okay, then let's take a look at the second question. So now we can see that we are placing the numbers not one to nine, but zero to nine. All right. So it is a typo right there. Place the numbers zero to nine inclusive ones each into these columns to make the calculation correct. First of all, we are observing this calculation right here. It is a three digit number multiplying a three digit number. And the one digit right here, multiplying the three digit number on top is a four digit number. The tens place, multiplying the three digit number on top is also a four digit number. The hundreds place, multiplying the three digit number on top is three digit number. Because you know, this zero is a place blocker and these two zeros are also place blockers for the hundreds place and tens places. So the two zeros for the hundreds place, the one zero for the tens place. All right, so next, let's look at what information we have. So we have seven something two right here. Right, we have seven something two right here. And we have something five zero four. And on the top, we have something so, uh, three something zero eight. So you can see that if I'm trying to spot the relationship between these three calculations, they're ending in two, four, and eight. So now let's think about what multiplied to two is going to give you an eight. Well, of course, it's either going to be four or nine, right? But we can see that seven times something is starting with a three. Well, so it can't be seven times nine because seven times nine is 63. So it must be uh, at least starting with a six, right? So if it is starting with three, it means that three something zero eight is equal to 700 something two times four, right? So if we look at the two and the eight, we can see that. And now we can just write it as, you know, like a number puzzle, which has only got, uh, you know, one line there. So four times two is eight. Four times what is zero? Now we know that we must have some carryover right there. Otherwise, four times seven will just be 28, right? So it means that in this blank, it can't be a zero. It can't be a zero. So it has to be a five which means that I'm carrying over two and four times seven adding two is gonna be 30. So we know that now, uh, I'm just gonna clear this up a little bit. Now in 3000 something zero eight, that something is gonna be a zero. And in seven something two, that something is gonna be a five. All right, so that is, you know, just multiplying four. Now next, if you just look at these two calculations, 752 and something 504. Now you can see that if I am having, oops, sorry. If I'm having something like 752 times something is something 504. What is that something that I'm gonna multiply? So I can either do two or I can do seven, right? So let's try the two first. 2 times 2, that's 4. 2 times 5, that's 10. 2 times 7, that's 14. Adding 1, that's 15. All right, so that works. What about 7? If you think about 7, 752 times 7 is equal to 7 times 2, 14. 7 times 5, 35. Adding 1, that's 36, which is not a 0, right? So it means that this has to be a 2. So this is, uh, you know, like a, oops, sorry. This is multiplying two to get to the second row, all right? So now we can see that the starting digit of something 504 is going to be a one right there. So if 752 is multiplying two to get to the second row and four to get to the uh, top row, now we know that we only have two different options, two different options. The first one is that it is um, this three digit number is one, two, four, right? So that's going to be a multiplying two, multiplying four relationship. So this one, this one is what I'm talking about. And the second possibility is that it's going to be two, four, eight. 
So it's also multiplying two, multiplying four, uh, nope. It should be there, right? So multiplying four relationship, if it is two, four, eight. So we just need to think about if this can be a one. Of course not, because we already have a one in there. So it means that this uh, second multiplier, which is three digit, it has to be two, four, and eight. So, rubbing this out. If this is two, four, eight, it means that two multiplying this number is 752. So if I do 752 divided by two, it's gonna be three, I think six there, so 15 and seven. So 14, dropping a one, dropping the two, six, that's 12. All right, so it is 376 right there. And finally, one adding seven, adding three, adding five, adding five, that's having a carry of one, so that's gonna be a nine. So this is the whole calculation. 360, uh, 376 times 248, that's gonna be equal to 93,248, all right?